morning everybody it's a uh, Monday morning I had to come back up here to my base 645 I drove all night until 2 a.m. got here I jumped right on in I wanted to go ahead and break this whole thing down again fix where I had the motor mounts that I mentioned in my last video and do some other things you see I have the wood jigs already cut up here go ahead and set those aside I know the wood's not the best choice, but it's all I have right now. I'll go to a hardware store later and pick up some actual metal rod like these that won't that will be actually perfect for the right sizes. So these will get me close. Let me push that back. There we go. Okay, yeah, I made some major changes. As you can see, I fixed the motor mounts and the idler. Put them in the right position. Jigged it all up, got it all tight. It's not square yet, but that's today, that's later on. <clears throat> the, what I spent the most time doing is this up here. Those are the bar clamps. Those are actually my cogs. I, I couldn't do any cog stuff until I got my Dremel tool. But I managed to get my Dremel tool and a drill. The, that circle does not look straight to me, but we'll see. Uh, my bed still is not done at all. I've had problems with my RP parts. This is uh, what I spent some of the time on last night. Let me see if I can pull this out. This is my X. It's my X access. Got the motor mounted. And like I said, I had the Dremel, so I was actually able to. Where you at, motor? There we go. I was actually able to file that down with my Dremel nice and flat. It seems a little bit of flat surface to clamp it onto. There it is. Yeah, but I spent a lot of time fixing a lot of the nuts and bolts I had on here. Namely, like right here on the uh, slider part. These nuts are supposed to be on the inside, <clears throat> on the inside but the RP parts I have the hex nut does not stay and to me this is just a bad overall design expecting the RP part to hold a hex nut perfectly uh, square in there so I flipped it around I put the nut bolt head in there and then this one on the outside so that I could get to it whenever I needed to swap it out or change, make it change to it fortunately I couldn't get the ones on the inside of that bracket out same with these three four just couldn't get them out because they're already in there so whenever I get a new set of parts, I'll go ahead and change that up. Speaking of which, I've already got contact with the bot mill. One of the people that's supposed to take care of my parts for me today. He's out of the office. I've already sent him an email, but the other guy I didn't know that I messaged the other guy. Here's a look at some, how my parts look. I, I'm still not sure if these are riprap parts or commercially made. Someone on the forum said that these were not commercially made because RP parts are the same color all the way through. And let me see if I can find the part I'm, I'm talking about. I think it's on the motor bracket. Not sure. Alright. Well, I can't find that part right now. I'll probably get to it in a second. But. One of the things, look at look at the parts here. They're they're all mismatched. These are things as tight as they're gonna get without cracking. I'm not sure if that much space is supposed to exist between these gaps. See right there. That's as tight as it's gonna get. Because the part's actually messed up. So yeah, I got my Z access rods threaded already, ready to go. On the wiki, I couldn't find anything about this side having two nuts, even though my my cog actually has a space for it to be slid in. It makes sense that it needs two, but it doesn't say anything about it. So, go ahead and set that aside. Yeah, and I got all my motors drilled. What's going on underneath the rack? I did the same thing in here. I didn't like the hex nuts being on the inside, 
and these bolts are too long but the shorter bolts don't fit just snugly enough and I wanted to keep this whole box open for whatever reason it needs to be there's supposed to be three small screws that go in there to hold the bearing and then the cog comes out in the belt same thing over here so that's why I did that just a little protrusion right there not too bad though nice and loose belt tensioner everything's nice and tight these parts actually look the best out of all the parts I think uh, minus the top there but like this idler uh, not idler, I keep going idler but belt tensioner that looks really good but then you go over here that looks like crap so from burnt or something on the tops these ones first gave me trouble but I finally got them drilled out right uh, these don't look right to me I think the I have a problem with that when I go to square it what else we got here oh if anyone can help me with the extruder this is what I'm up to I got the cog ready to go that looks right to me this bolt that goes through it looks way too long but it's the only bolt I have is this long or at least from the nut down to that nut long uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for the hot end but this is all I had but what I need help with is how to mount that stupid little plate I showed you in my last video in there to keep the tension on the filament. I might just go with the Wade's extruder. What else? I think that's it. Oh, if you don't have a Dremel, get one. You need one. Get a Dremel, basic Dremel. Always wear safety goggles. Get a Dremel. That's all I got for now. Gotta get dressed and go to work. Have a nice day. Thanks.